Hey everyone, this video is actually not for everyone. Uh, it's specifically for students who took part of the course or completed the original version of this course prior to the, the complete overhaul, the brand new version uh, I'm releasing today on October 12th, 2020. So if you are enrolling now, if you're a brand new student, skip this video, just there's nothing here for you. <laughs> Don't waste your time. Uh, but if you're somebody who, whether it was uh, two weeks ago or two years ago, uh, if you're somebody who started the course, made it, you know, a couple of sections in, you finished half of it, or you completed the whole thing, check out this video uh, for information on how to migrate over to the new version and what's important, you know, what you've missed, what's changed, and all of that. So I've put a document together to help explain the differences. You can find it attached to this lecture. I'm calling it the Web Developer Bootcamp 2.0 Migration Guide. Uh, and it covers every section in the course, bullet points about what's, you know, what's changed uh, or whether things have changed at all. Some things really haven't changed. I mean, every video is new, so everything has changed technically. But as far as the concepts and topics covered, uh, some sections are pretty similar. So uh, I've color coded things, red, orange, where am I getting orange? Red, yellow, and green. Anything in green uh, is the most similar to the original version of the course. That doesn't mean nothing has changed. Um, you know, but for example, if we take a look at the course intro, nothing critical has changed here. It's all new. And uh, I've highlighted, you know, I use new slides. Uh, there's a video called Intro to Coding Exercises, which you might want to check out, but nothing critical. Uh, but then when we get to HTML, the second section on HTML, which by the way, the name of these sections will probably change, uh, which is why I give you this live document uh, that you can you know, keep open. Uh, so I can make changes as you know, students report things that they've noticed are different uh, or gotchas that I should point out. So don't use this video as your guide, use the actual document as your resource uh, for figuring out what to focus on. Anyway, uh, the HTML second section, you know, covers some stuff that was not at all mentioned in the original course. So it's in red. Things like entity codes, semantic elements, uh, accessibility, working with screen readers. Um, you know, we keep going down. If you see something in yellow, it means there's there are things worth your time to check out, but they're not critical new sections uh, or you know brand new topics that didn't exist in the original course. Keep going, you know, around CSS, uh, there's a bunch of new stuff that was not at all covered. Flexbox, responsive CSS, properties like the position property and uh, transform, those are all new. Bootstrap, you can see is in green because yes, everything is new, but it's all pretty much the same. Uh, but then some really big changes once we get to JavaScript. Things like even very basics uh, of primitives and variables. That section now uses let and const. Uh, so even if you went through all the JavaScript content, I'm trying to single out uh, you know, what you should go back and at least watch a video or two of. So certainly things like let and const, uh, string template literals, keep going down, for of loops. Uh, this whole section on uh, leveling up our functions, things like the keyword this, uh, block level scope, lexical scoping, uh, function expressions, higher order functions, returning functions, try and catch, all of that stuff was lacking in the original course. So definitely check that section out. Same thing with the array callback method section. It covers a lot of important stuff. Pretty much none of it, aside from for each, was in the original version. So map, filter, sum, every, reduce, arrow function, set timeout, set interval, very important stuff going forward, worth your time. Unfortunately, this chunk right here, these three red sections that are all new, pretty much brand new content, not at all covered in the original course, they're a bit dense, uh, but they're important. So you might want to take your time and not try and rush through them, uh, but they are important there. Further down, there's a whole new section on new JavaScript features, new modern syntax, not at all mentioned or not at all covered in the original course. Uh, another big change uh, is that jQuery has been removed and instead the DOM content has been expanded. So if you made it through the original DOM content, uh, I would go back and just watch some of these sections. I call out particular things, for example, you know, class list or the last four videos in this section around creating new elements from scratch. Two other critical sections that are new, uh, asynchronous JavaScript, where I cover promises and async await, uh, and then Ajax. Two topics, not at all in the original course, definitely worth your time, they're in red. Uh, you know, when we get to the back end section, if you made it to that point in the past, um, in this new version, I, I no longer use Cloud9, everything is done locally. So I call that out, uh, but otherwise things are pretty much the same. There's a new video or two, uh, a couple new topics, but nothing critical. 
Then we get to Node and Express. Things are pretty similar, uh, but you know there are certain topics I call out or I explain certain things are expanded or there's a new exercise. Uh, but then really where things change is with databases. There's a lot of new content around Mongo uh, and making queries and connecting to databases uh, using fancy operators. That has been definitely uh, significantly expanded, as has the Mongoose section, where I now cover things like virtual properties and validations and schema constraints, uh, adding static methods, adding middleware. Um, further down, there's a new section on express errors, uh, new sections on cookies and the express router, working with sessions, authentication from scratch. All of that is in red because it's new. It was barely covered. It was kind of touched upon in the original version of the course. So absolutely worth checking out uh, if you finish the original version. And then lastly, uh, Yelp Camp is still in the course, but it's been completely redone. So a brand new app, all new code, uh, nothing, you know, no holdovers from the original course. And it's been, it's been expanded to include a lot of topics. Now, it's spread out through the course, but just to make it easier to follow in this migration guide, uh, I've grouped it all together. And you can see a lot of it's pretty much the same, you know, basic stuff, making uh, basic routes and adding in, you know, models and authentication. But then we get to some new features like image upload, uh, adding maps with Mapbox and geocoding, adding a cluster map. Uh, we talk about security issues, cross-site scripting and Mongo injection, sanitizing HTML inputs. All of that is in red because it was not at all covered in the original course or the original version of Yelp Camp. So a lot of stuff here. Uh, worth your time. I would honestly, if you finish the entire course, I would just go through from the beginning uh, and just read through this outline, figure out you know what's changed in each section, and then spend a couple of minutes going through those topics. Uh, and then when you get to some of the bigger things like you know Flexbox or the new sections on array callback methods or AJAX or asynchronous JavaScript, then really dive into those sections. Uh, if you're somebody who went halfway through the course, you know you got to JavaScript and then you stopped. Uh, or you were at JavaScript when I launched the update today, I would do the same thing. Um, use this outline to help you sort of act as a guide for what you should focus on. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a process. Uh, fortunately, you know, the topics are pretty much the same. The order is roughly the same. There's just a lot more detail, a lot of more modern code and, you know, updated stuff uh, that wasn't present in the original course. Um, so it, it could be worse, right? I could switch this completely to I don't know, Java or Python or something, which would be a traumatic change. But with that said, it is a pretty significant overhaul. I mean, every single video is new. So take your time. Uh, there's going to be kinks and things that need to be worked out anyway. I wouldn't you know, rush through this uh, in a matter of a couple of hours. And that's pretty much it. Um, so good luck, everybody. I hope you enjoy the new content. And please be patient if there are any issues. Ask your questions on the discussion board. Uh, we are here to help and good luck.